it can be difficult. I know it can. When you're at a networking event, you arrive into some big hall, some big room, and you see all these unknown people standing around. A very challenging moment for many lawyers is to make contact, to come up to people and introduce yourself and to get into a group. There are different ways to do that. We have the direct approach. We have something which I call the comet approach. You can see it in one of my other videos. There are different ways to get into a group. But then strangely, the next most difficult activity in a networking event is how do you get out of a group? So I created this concept, which is called four ways of escape. There are at least four ways for you to escape from a person or a group of people when you realize that your time with them has come to an end and you need to network with other people. So, of course, we know to avoid that very common mistake in networking, which is simply to speak to somebody for half an hour. No, you're going to need to move around, follow the 10 minutes rule, most likely, and meet several people. So you will need to escape. So how can we do this, especially if the other person won't stop talking? Well, the first way of escape is called the direct escape. You simply say something like, it was very nice speaking with you. Let's keep in touch. Here's my business card. Thank you. And the other person, 99% of the time, they understand that networking isn't socializing and they, they will let you go. So that's the direct escape. It's totally acceptable. We understand that this is networking. On a related note, never try to escape by making excuses, saying, I have to go to the bathroom, I have to speak to someone, I'm going to go and have a cigarette. No, this, this just looks very fake and is noticeable. And the person might not catch, actually, that you're trying to escape. So don't do that. The second way of escape is something which I saw when I was living in Russia. This might be a little bit strange, but the concept is pleasant enough. This is called the gentleman escape. In this case, especially if you're a man speaking with a woman, you're going to be a gentleman. And before you go, you want to do something nice. So you make your excuses and you say, oh, I need to go now. But would you like a glass of champagne? Can I get you some food? So you do something nice and then you run away and then you escape. That's, that's the idea. If that would be strange in your jurisdiction, then, then don't do it. On a related note, a third way of escape would be the play host escape. In this case, you pretend it's your party and you say to them, well, tell me, is there anyone here you would like to be introduced to? If they mention somebody that you know, you can then bring them and introduce them. And if you don't know them, you can say, let's go and find them together. And keep in mind, it's also quite possible that there are some people, maybe from your law firm, maybe from other places that you do know, and you can take this person and introduce them. So this is the play host escape. And then the fourth idea I'd like to share with you is called the take them escape, especially if you're speaking to one person and it would be uncomfortable or difficult just to abandon them after your conversation. You could say simply, hey, let's go and see what these guys are talking about at the buffet. You don't have to abandon the person. You can take them. And believe me, once you're integrated into another group, it's entirely possible they will go off themselves or with other people, or you can also then make your escape. So these are at least four ways of escape in a sales networking environment. There are many others. In fact, if you have any good ideas about ways of escape, I'd love to hear from them. You can email me, jjmcveigh at nichedonia.com. Okay, thank you very much and see you next time.